Hello my friend, thanks for coming and check this out. My name is Danny and today we're gonna talking about the five different and most common chart pattern. You can see a lot in the chart and as at last video on the part one, we talking about the in the general about the 12 chart pattern. In the today video, I'm gonna go in for the deep five of them and they tell you exactly what we happen on the chart when we're gonna go into it. On the next video, I'm gonna go in for the more deeper and tell you about the what's the how to get into the best trade and the best option for the open the position. I highly recommend that if you don't like to watch the whole video, I highly recommend that to watch the two topic on the end and then listen to the end of the video, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's falling wedge and the uh, rising wedge is really important. Keep in your mind, watch those one. If you don't like to watch the rest, please watch those one, it's help you out a lot. The first topic that we're gonna talk about is the double bottom. As we previous talking about the double bottom, we're talking about the general in the, about the 12 uh, price action chart pattern. And uh, I highly recommend that if you want, I'll leave a link in the description and uh, watch that one first, then come into the, this video. We're talking about the basic thing about the double bottom. As you can see here, the double bottom start with a high, with a low and another low. It might be is a different low as well. It's gonna be lower, it's gonna be make a lower low. Still we call it as a double bottom. You know about the double bottom. When they break the neckline, normally we have a one pullback on the lower time frame as well. And uh, we're gonna go in uh, the break and the target is gonna be on the last swing high and uh, it's gonna be next resistant line and uh, we talking about that before now we're gonna go in for the example of the some of the example of the double button on the this chart we have a we don't have a like a one a straight line for the neckline even we don't have a one a straight line for the double bottom too but we have a one divergence confirm as well we have a one divergence on the RSI plus we have a neckline is been break we get a confirmation of the pullback then we go into the upside The next example is pretty much same. As you can see here, we have a divergence on the RSI. We have a one pullback to the neckline and we, we make a lower low on the chart. It's exactly the same condition with the last one, but after break the neckline, we pull back to it and change the direction. In the next example, pretty much same. We have a one divergence and a breakout candle pullback, and then we go into the upside. That is best condition for happen for double bottom. As you can see, indicator or oscillator is not magic. You need to wait for the price action to tell you. The RSI helps you out a lot for the divergence but is not magic you need to just keep your eyes on the candles and the price action the 
This example is pretty much the same, but there's a difference between you need to looking for the pullback to the neckline on the lower time frame. And we don't have a divergence here, it's a hidden divergence. And uh, as you can see here, we don't have any confirmation of the pullback, right? But on the future, I'm gonna tell you about the how to get into the trade based on the volume or VSA. If you trade the crypto or stocks, it has a volume, but Forex, as long as we have a Forex volume, but in the general, we don't have it because mostly of the volume handed over by the smart money and the bank. But gold doesn't have a, any volume too. And we're gonna go through that in the future as long as I have one basic about the VSA. I'll leave a link in the description. If you have a time, go in and check that one out too. The next example is pretty much same. Is a divergence, has a divergent pullback to the neckline. And it has a one uh, really good example here is a rejection candle. Is This one is called as a liquidity candle. They get enough liquidity and they're going down. This candle is pretty much, we are gonna ignore this kind of the candle for the neckline to find it out best neckline for yourself. When you get into the uh, end of the neckline on the liquidity candle, it's too late to open the position. The next chart pattern that we're going to talk about to now is a double top. Double top is exactly opposite of the double bottom, but is we're going to go in for the sum of the example and find it out more. You know the about the double top unless not break the neckline is not called as a double top and also double top is not going to be active unless they break the neckline. The first example for the DC uh, double top, we have a one higher high, but the, the, we have a di hidden divergence as well. We not we couldn't use the RSI because we are already on the hidden divergence. We have a two neckline as well. Both of them is right, but for the make a decision for the, this condition, you need to go in for the lower time frame and open the position. We have a white neckline and we have an orange neckline. Those one, both of them is right. But the, because we have a long shadow, we need to go in for the lower time frame and make a decision on the lower time frame. The next example for us, we have a higher high, but divergence make a lower low. We have a di uh, divergence on the, this situation. When they break through the neckline, we normally we have a one pull back to the neckline and open the position after get a pull back on the lower time frame. As you can see here on the lower time frame of the, this one, we have a very long shadow of the pullback. The next example of cross is double top with the higher high and uh, we have a one divergence as well and plus we have a pullback two times pullback to the neckline too that is kind of the big 
sign of the short position. The next example for us exactly same as last one. We have a one higher high, but we make a divergence to we pull back to this area, but we not get into the target because our target is lower than that. But all of the trade is not successful. Keep in your mind. This is another example of the stop loss. This is we don't have any divergence as much as make a lower low and uh, uh, we have a pullback to the neckline as well. But all of the trade is not successful. Keep in your mind. I'll just bring you those one here because I don't want to uh, just saying all of the, this one is going to be hitting the, the target. This is kind of the example this market is not magic and this these tools that we use it is not magic too. The next example for us, we make a lower low, we have a hidden divergence, we pull back to the area and uh, we reach our target too. As you can see here, our target is gonna be last swing low. That is kind of the, our target was. And uh, pretty much get into the, our target and uh, the, then change the direction. Thank you so much for watching until here. Uh, if the button added value to you, please smash the like button and the subscribe. And turn on the notification on. Even I have a Discord channel. I can help you out to the, how to become the trader. It's completely free. Literally, I left the uh, link in the description. Go in and check this out too. Head and shoulder pattern. We're talking about on the on the previous video about the head and shoulder pattern. You know the head and shoulder pattern. We have a one left shoulder, we have a one right shoulder. This one is make a bearish condition because before they get into the last swing high, a lot of people put a open the short position under this situation and they want to sell the asset and the price is not getting to the that much and the wind become the bearish when they break the trend line the head and shoulder is going to be active head and shoulder pattern as you can see here under this example we have a one head and shoulder when they break through the neckline the market is going down this is sign of the bearish we can if you a little bit going deeper even we can see the one trend line is being break and uh, we could get into the trade on the trend line as well but keep in your mind unless they not break through the neckline it doesn't call as a head and shoulder pattern The next example for us pretty much same as the last example we can get into the position early because we break the trend line before the head and shoulder pattern but the safest way is going to the after break to the neckline that is kind of the safest way normally when they break through the neckline we have a really high volume 
because market is bearish and that is sign of the bear to for the after break through the neckline that is really important I'm gonna go into that in the future video and tell you about the how to use the volume spread analysis or VSA to use the best performance of the trading the next example for us is pretty much same we have a one neckline is break through and uh, with the high volume is going down right I didn't mention about the volume for now because it's getting a little bit so complicated and uh, next example for us I just want to mention one thing the neckline shouldn't be only a straight line right it could be is different it's like a trend line we can't just only going for the just straight because we are not perfect in the market and the market has a lot of noise and this is noise is making a lot of variant on the market Rising break is one of the, my favorite trade setup. It's really important. I'm just gonna quickly going through the couple of how does it form. And the, as you can see here, on the resistance, we have one resistance, one re support. As much as the resistance is going down, the support is going up, right? It's going to the like a a little bit support is going up that is sign of the bullish because the seller couldn't mar couldn't like a push the market low as much as they try to push the market the buyer in in the market and buy it before that right that is sign of the strength on the market but you, this is not only we not use it as a own we need to go in for the volume spread analysis and uh, realize that which one is better right and uh, I, sometimes I use a RSI too that is a good point for use the RSI but we're gonna go through that and uh, find it out on the sum of the example this is first example of the rising wedge as you can see here we break through the like a rising wedge we have a very very massive pump too even you can see the double bottom and the last two swing low too depend on the how to see the chart is we don't have a like a here is not mathematic or any physics that has a rule you can see the what you see on the chart don't put a limit on yourself to find the one thing special sometimes you need to be simple and in this example you can clearly see the divergence as well and another example for the rising wage is uh, when they break through the rising wage and the uh, kind of the trend line you can see them uh, change the direction and you can open the position after breakout through the that trend line and also clearly you can see the divergence as well but before the breakout the trend line you shouldn't open the line position because you see the divergence
This is another example of the rising wedge. And as you can see here, we already we get into the break through the like a trend line, and uh, we have a pullback as well. And that's all is change the direction of the market. That is good potentially to open the line position after break out the trend line. Is the safest way to waiting for the pullback on the lower time frame. It's another example for the rising wedge. As you can see, when the break through the trend line is, uh, we have a change of direction. And uh, keep in your mind, every place is not place that you open the long position. Normally you're looking for the area of the confluent as a major support to open the long position after get a confirmation. You not open the position blindly because you see the diver or divergence or rising wage or any falling wage or something. You should wait for they get your trade. Another example for the rising wage is uh you can see clearly under this example we break through that and uh we pull back to this area again and uh the trend is changed too and uh you can see that constantly we have a divergence as well on the rsi too Falling wedge is as I we speak together before is happen on the major support. As you can see here, we have a one resistant line that is kind of the our dynamic sub resistant, and we have a one support too, right? As a dynamic. But when you reach to the very major horizontal resistant, normally this is we looking for to open the position this is really important to wait for your confirmation that is come through with that and the follow it and the find it out best option best trade and based on the confirmation you're looking for the trade this is first example for falling wedge as you can see here after break out the support on the dynamic support we have a change the direction of the market. That is really important. No, uh, under this example, we don't have any divergence, but we looking for the divergence for the confirmation as well. This is another example for the falling wedge. As you can see here, when the when reached to the major resistance, is potentially change the direction of the market. And uh, this example, we make a one falling wedge pattern. And that is the last example for falling wedge. As you can see here, we as much as we break, uh, we make a higher high, we have a clearly divergence too. Is potentially after breakout, the 
trend line, we change the direction of the market. As you can clearly under this example, it's completely happened. In the end of this one, I do appreciate to watch the video and I hope so that is added value to you. One more tip that I have it and I said to you in, in the beginning of the video. The trading is really important to understand the market. Any of those one is happen. If you don't understand the sentiment of the market is completely wrong. You need to understand the sentiment of the market try to practice try to get into the trade with a low margin and low leverage I am completely disagree with the uh, a lot of people going to the more than even 10 is pretty high because is you trade with the biggest player in the market you not only one and uh, think about this one other side of you is has a really good trader expert trader and plus on the top of that one we have a, a smart money as well that is move the market and if the smart money not move the market nobody else is could be able to, to move the market and uh all of the chart pattern depend on the how to look at them. Some people is look at the, this one as a bearish, but you are on the bullish. Some of them is mix it with the, as I said to you on the example, you can see the on the rising wedge, you can see the clearly double bottom too. And uh, if to on the falling wedge, you can see the clearly double top two and uh, even on the head and shoulder is depend on yourself how to do it how to look at it and how to find the best trade for yourself each time of the trade is not open the position for example if i'm trading and uh today are uh, 10 o'clock i wake up and uh, sitting on the computer and uh, open the one trade that is completely wrong. You need to find the best time to get into the market. A lot of most uh, expert traders, they just open the once a week trade, not every day. Once a week, twice a week, three times per week, even one, one time per day, depend on the market situation. It's very important to open the position based on the market one trade could be make a more profit for you as much as you are over trading and uh, trade every day and every day three times four times and uh, most of them is going to be a stop loss in a future video i'm gonna break through the all of them individual and they show you what's the technique that I a lot of people that is expert on the market use it and uh, I'm gonna go into the details of the each of them and tell you what's happening behind that's it for today I hope so that is added value to you if you want to support just smash the like button and the subscribe and leave it in the comment for me if you have any question See you next time guys and happy trade and safe.